thousands of people flocked to a Beijing landmark to admire the space capsule that brought China's first astronaut back to Earth, a mission that capped the country's rise as an emerging world power. Toddlers and pensioners alike queued at the Millennium Monument in Western Beijing on the opening day of the space exhibit, which featured photographs and replicas of the rockets that shot Taikonaut Yang Lui into orbit and his parachute. But the star attraction was the visibly scarred metallic grey capsule that carried Yang to a hero's welcome on October 16, 2003, after he landed on the chilly steppes of Inner Mongolia at the end of a 21-hour space odyssey around Earth. Visitors crowded around the capsule presented to the public for the first time, snapping photographs and videotaping the vehicle. Yen Chung Min, a 49-year-old telecom executive, said she had travelled all the way from the distant western province of Ying Chang to see the space exhibit. Yang's safe return brought a triumphant climax to China's historic voyage, four decades after Russian and American astronauts pioneered manned spaceflight and set off a national celebration. The mission marked a crowning moment for a program launched by Mao Zedong but quickly left far behind in the Cold War space race rivalry that saw the United States put a man on the moon in 1969. The Beijing exhibit displayed the red Chinese flag that Yang carried into space and a peace calligraphy from former President Jiang Zemin with two characters meaning divine arrow. Jiang, still ahead of Chinese military since giving up the presidency last year, revived the manned space program in 1992 after it was shelved due to cost. The exhibit also included photos of Yang floating inside his spacecraft, the Zhenzhou V, or Divine Ship, and a white spacesuit similar to one the astronaut wore.